Hello, dear friends. Today we are going to learn about a comedy drama film called Good Luck to You, Leo Grande from 2022. I wish you a good viewing. Nancy Stokes arrives at her hotel room with a suitcase. The woman looks around her room and is visibly nervous because despite her respectable age, this is the first time in Nancy's life that she has ever called a call boy. She has never had the courage to do so before. The woman drinks some strong alcohol to relieve the tension. At the same time, young Leo Grande finishes his coffee in a diner and slowly walks to the same hotel. The guy knocks on the door of the hotel room, but Nancy is in no hurry to open it because she is not sure if she looks good. When the woman finally lets the visitor in, Leo kisses her on the cheek and kindly promises that they will have a great time. The guy compliments Nancy, saying that she looks great. He praises her perfume, trying to attract the woman's attention and strike up a casual conversation. Leo leaves his coat and bag on the couch and offers to drink a glass of champagne to create a pleasant, romantic mood. The guy immediately asks about the client's wishes, but the embarrassed woman changes the subject to her companion's preferences in music. Leo is not interested in talking about this, and he brings the conversation back to the original topic. Nancy, after a few general phrases, admits that she was happy in her marriage, but her husband died two years ago of a heart attack. In her entire life, she has had only one partner, her late husband. However, she had never reached the peak of pleasure in her life. She was unable to enjoy herself with a partner or with herself. Even today, she does not even hope to do so. The woman decided to diversify her boring life a bit and call it an ad on the internet. Even after talking to Leo, Nancy continues to be very nervous and asks the guy to do his job as soon as possible. However, he suggests taking their time to fully enjoy their date. The woman declares that today's meeting is a great idea, as she has been a faithful wife all her life and a teacher at school, telling children about morals and ethics. And what she is going to do today seems very shameful to her. Leo listens to the woman with a smile as she sits on the couch and then goes over to her and gently helps her calm down. Nancy runs to the restroom to change into a more appropriate outfit for the occasion. As soon as the client goes to the restroom, Leo also becomes very nervous, and he can't seem to find the right position on the bed. Then he gets out of bed and takes a bottle of strong alcohol from the fridge and takes a few sips. To block out the smell of alcohol, he snacks on a chocolate bar. However, when Nancy returns, she asks her companion to brush her teeth because she cannot stand the smell of chocolate. When Leo gets closer to the woman, Nancy once again wants to break off their date because she is too shy. However, the persistent guy suggests that they both lie down on the bed and cover themselves with a blanket to feel more comfortable. When Leo mentions his mother, the woman starts asking questions about her. She finds out that the boy is lying to his mother and says that he seems to work for an oil company. Nancy, in turn, talks about her adult daughter and son, who often disappoint her. Leo turns the conversation to the client's personal life, and she admits that there are many things she would like to try in the love sphere, but her husband considered it shameful, humiliating. So they never tried anything but the classics. Nancy cries at the memories that come flooding back, and then Leo kisses her gently, and the two finally get down to business. A few days later, the couple meets again in the same hotel room. This time, Nancy has thoroughly prepared for the meeting, making a list of everything she would like to try. The woman says she would like to get everything done today because she is not sure she has enough money for a third session. However, the client cannot decide to experiment, although she admits that she has been dreaming about it for many years. On top of that, Nancy gets a call from her daughter, who once again complains about her problems. After the woman hangs up, Leo makes another attempt to relax Nancy. He talks to her for a long time and dances with her. The guy tells her that there are many mature ladies among his clients, and he likes to communicate with them. Leo tries to please them every time, according to their requests. Nancy responds by saying that she has always considered her body to be ugly, and every year this fear only grows stronger. Leo leads the woman to the mirror and helps her find beauty and femininity in herself. As they talk, Nancy finally relaxes and surrenders to the passion that has taken over her. The woman has been looking forward to three meetings, and the day finally comes. They start the meeting right away with a passionate hug. After the pleasant activities, Nancy confesses to Leo that she did a little research on the internet and found out his real name and surname. The guy gets very tense when he hears this. He shouts that the client has crossed the line because it is his private life. However, the woman does not calm down and continues to ask the guy questions and give him unnecessary advice about his real life. She tries to talk to Leo about his close relatives, especially his mother. The boy is unnerved by the fact that Nancy persists in prying into his soul despite his requests. He asks her not to call him again and leaves the hotel room, slamming the door loudly. However, a few minutes later, Leo returns, shouting that he forgot his phone. He begins to nervously search the room, but the cell phone is nowhere to be found, and the guy calms down a bit and decides to tell Nancy about what has been a heavy burden on his heart for many years. It turns out that Leo's mother is as righteous and strict a woman as Nancy. 
When her son turned 15 and they had a fight, the woman did not seek reconciliation with her son, but simply kicked him out of the house, telling everyone that he was dead. Leo says with tears in his eyes that they have not communicated since then, and when his mom saw him, she just walked right past him. The guy kisses Nancy on the cheek goodbye and leaves the hotel room, leaving the woman at a loss. She regrets that they will never see each other again. A month passes and Nancy calls Leo again, suggesting that this time they meet not in the hotel room, but in the hotel restaurant. She feels nervous, waiting for the guy to show up. When Leo arrives, Nancy apologizes for her intrusiveness. The woman says that she has recommended the guy's services to all her mature friends who, in her opinion, need similar meetings of this kind. After talking to the guy, Nancy wants to go home, but at that moment, the waitress Becky, who turns out to be Nancy's former student, comes to the table. At first, the old teacher feels embarrassed in front of the girl she once taught morality and adherence to moral principles. The woman tells the student that she is buying a car from the guy, but after a little thought, Nancy calls Becky back to her room and confesses that this is the fourth time she has come to this hotel to use the services of a callboy. Leo is truly a professional in his field. While the surprised girl stands there with her mouth open, the couple goes up to the same hotel room and gets down to business without delay. Nancy finally realizes all her fantasies, which she has been dreaming about for so long and feels really happy about it. Leo decides to bring his companion to the greatest pleasure with a special toy. He tries to find it in his bag. Having found the toy, the guy turns to Nancy, and by her satisfied face he realizes that the woman herself has coped with the task perfectly. At the end of the session, Nancy is overjoyed because she has finally achieved her goal. The woman says goodbye to Leo forever, remaining good friends with the boy. Left alone, she goes back to the mirror and admires herself, just as Leo had taught her. For the first time in a long time, Nancy feels truly happy. The actions in the movie showed us that despite your age, you should always love and respect yourself. After all, no matter what, if you don't love yourself, no one else will. Nancy lived a rather boring life all her life and never did what she wanted to do. At a very late age, she regretted this and began to correct it. But everything would have been completely different if she had started fixing it when she was younger so that she could have lived her life the way she wanted. We were also shown in the movie Leo, who is completely opposite to the woman. He skillfully finds an approach to any woman and how lucky the woman was that she chose him because no one knows what could have happened if it had been another guy. If you've watched this video to the end, you should know that I'm glad to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to the channel and write in the comments what kind of retelling of the movie you would like to see. This was 18 Recapped. See you in the next video.